Hello again, this is Simon, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a software called SyncBack to back up your data to an FTP server. And if you haven't heard of SyncBack, it's a fantastic backup software you can use at home. You get it at www.2brightsparks.com. They have a paid version, but of course, why would we want to pay for something when we can get it for free? They have a fantastic freeway version as well. So just go to downloads, go to freeware, and you'll see the link to download SyncBack. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to open up SyncBack here, which I've already installed. So backing up your data to an FTP server offers some great advantages. And of course, this assumes you have access to an FTP server. Now, if you haven't used SyncBack before, the first step, of course, is just to start backing up your data if you're not doing it already. And it's a great piece of software to back up to an external hard drive or some other device and make sure that your data is backed up. But of course, if you want to synchronize two directories, you can do that to ensure that the source is the same as the destination or that the destination is the same as the source. But my main concern for using SyncBack is just making sure I actually back up my data. And I have obviously have some concerns because I want to back up externally to get it off site. So to back it up to an FTP site, what you're going to do is open up sync back and go to new. And we're going to create a new task. And I'm just going to leave it here as this first option, backup for copying files to another directory, drive, FTP server, etc. Click OK. You can give it any name. So I'm just going to give it a name called FTP. And now you have to find your source directory. Of course, this is the source directory of the data that you would like to have backed up. And then you're going to choose a destination directory. So let's open up FTP Commander here. And the folder that I'm going to back up to is on my website here. And it's just called Backup. As you can see, there's no data in there right now. So as you can see, you do not have to have the source directory and the destination directory as the same name. I'm going to go to advanced here. Now, if you're backing up to an external hard drive or some other device, or regardless if it's an FTP site, what you choose here is going to be based on your own preference. So for example, what to do if the same file has been changed in the source and destination. I'm going to choose here, newer file overwrites, older file. What to do if a file is in the source but not in the destination? I'm going to say copy file to destination. What to do if the file is in destination but not in the source? I'm going to say delete from destination. So the next thing we have to do is actually configure it for FTP. So let's go to expert button down here. Click on the FTP tab. And then click on the destination directory is on an FTP server. So now we're going to have to put in our host name. I'm going to put in my username. Obviously, it's easier to cut and paste. Put in your password. And then that should be it. The port, if it's FTP, is likely going to be port 21. Good idea to actually do a quick test. Let's click on test FTP settings. There you have it. The FTP server was logged into. So let's do a quick test here. I'm going to click OK. You can now perform a simulator run. I'm going to click on no. I'm going to make sure I actually have some data in my folder here. Yeah, I have a couple files here. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see it's running. And it's going to give you a pop up here saying these files are not in the destination. And it gives you an option to continue to run. So I'm going to run it. And that should back up pretty quickly. Now the advantage of having your task set up is now that you can actually schedule them. So imagine that. So now that you've created your task, you can schedule it regardless if it's backing up to an external hard drive or an FTP server. So by doing that, you can actually have it run automatically each day or whenever you want it to run. So once you set up your task and there's no worries about having to 
ensure that your data is backed up or not. Let's look at FTP commander here and see if there's anything in there. Nothing yet. Well, it's still running, so, oh, and it says success. Let's go back again to FTP Commander, open that up, and there you have it, the two files that we had in our local hard drive. So pretty straightforward. So once again, SyncBack is a free software that you can use to back up and synchronize your data. And of course, if you want to take it one step further, you can use it to back up to an FTP site. This is Simon, and thanks for watching this video.